Hi guys, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today I'm going to do an Angelina Jolie tutorial for you. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup, but it is an interesting look nonetheless because um, Angelina has quite round eyes and um, the way that she does her makeup makes them look really feline and cat shaped, so it's a good one to learn if you have round eyes. Um, if you don't have round eyes, it's still a really gorgeous, simple look. I'm going to start by using a good coverage foundation, my current fave, in a mask skin base. Um, as I said in my last video, it's really good if you have two brushes for this, one to apply it with and then one to buff it in with afterwards. This foundation is for all skin types, but if you have an oily skin, you will need a primer underneath it. The colour I'm using is number 7. If you do have um, my stippling brush or a buffing brush or something similar, it is possible to get a good result just from using the one brush. You don't have to rush out and buy two. It's just a case of working in circular motions and really pushing it into the skin. Straight onto the brows, I'm using Chanel uh, Sculpting Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde Claire. Angelina's brows are very arched, actually not massively dissimilar to mine, quite fine. I'm just going to use this colour, which is quite light, just to give a bit of shape, and then I'm going to go over it with uh, Max Spiked, a darker one. Obviously her brows are naturally dark, so um, while I could just colour mine in with one colour, they're just going to look quite drawn in. So, we'll be. so by using two colours, can add a little bit more of a natural look to them. Just so you know, Nick is sitting just outside of the camera with Harry, so if he wakes up, uh, there may be a bit of noise. Or there could be noise from people outside. Or alternatively, there'll be builders right outside. Maybe it'll be builders, or it could be people playing the pan pipes, or it could be Morris dancers. There'll always be something outside the window making a noise. Sorry guys, it's so annoying. Right, so now I'm on to a uh, matte spiked eyebrow pencil. I'm just going to draw a few little lines in there just to get it a bit darker. And finally, well, this is a third colour in my brow. You don't have to do this, I'm just being picky. Um, I'm using number four from Clinique, super fine line of her brows and the colour is black brown. On the eyes I've got two colours, Bone from Bobbi Brown number two and Taupe number four from Bobbi Brown. Now, um, alternatives from MAC would be something like Brulee and Wedge. She keeps her eyeshadow very, very simple, so we're just going to put the Bone colour all the way over the lid. Then I have um, a Louise Young LY38 brush and um, another 217 and I'm just going to blend that through the socket really softly. It's not a big eyeshadow look. This needs to be really subtle so it's barely visible, once it's blended, that is. Now onto the eyeliner, I'm using Clinique um, Brush on Gel Liner in True Black. If you prefer, you can use a black eyeshadow to do this, or you can wet a black eyeshadow and use it wet to do this. Um, you can use a little angled brush, maybe I'll use a little angled brush because that might help people that struggle. Okay, I have a synthetic MAC um, 263. The difference between um, a 266 and a 263 is that the 263 is synthetic, um, so it's better with cream products, generally. So a little gel liner on my brush, I'm just gonna tap that off on my hand so there's not too much. And then we're just gonna start on the outside corner. Now, as I said, Angelina Jolie has quite big round eyes and she's very lucky for that. But what she does is she very cleverly elongates the eye and makes it feline. So the important thing to do is not to take your liner 
or if you do, you take it very, very thinly across the top of the eye. Okay, if you take it thickly across the top of the eye, then it may end up making your eye rounder. So what she often does is just takes it in the outside from about a third of the way across out, if that makes sense. So she doesn't add any width to the top of the eye or the bottom of the eye. And then she slightly elevates this flick. So that she cleverly narrows and uh, wings it out. Now this won't look so great on me because I don't really need to narrow my eyes, they are quite narrow anyway. So on my eye, eye shape I would obviously take the liner across the top to make them bigger that way, not bigger that way. And now the other eye I'm going to do with my Louise Young Fine Liner Brush. So just from about a third of the way in. We need to get some mascara on. We're going to curl our lashes a little, just a little. I'm using Tweezerman eyelash curlers. And then I've chosen Clinique High Impact Mascara. I'm just going to brush my lashes through with my, um, my Real Techniques brow brush. Give me another coat. So the next part of the round eye to cat eye illusion is we need some corner lashes. These ones are from MAC. So these are number 20 according to Nicola. So working on the same premise that we don't want our lashes to be really big in the centre because it's going to make the eye appear bigger that way, we're using corner lashes to elongate the eye that way. So for anyone that struggles with lashes, we're just going to put a bit of duo glue just along the seam of the lash, she says. There we go. holding them with a pair of tweezers. My tweezers are um, the Betsy Johnson ones from Tweezerman. And we're just going to pop that in, sit it on top of our lashes and stick it to the skin. Underneath the eye on my Deluxe Crease Brush I'm just going to work a bit of concealer just to tidy it up. Underneath the eye, I'm just going to set that concealer. So, sometimes Angelina Jolie does wear an eyeliner underneath the eye, and it's a really important tool at making her eyes appear more narrow. She doesn't always do that. Um, I'm going to because I kind of have to show you, I guess. I'm going to use Power Surge Pencil from MAC. This is a kind of gold brass colour. Um, it's a great product because you can put it on the waterline and I don't think that it either closes your eyes up or makes them really open. Um, so you can still get a really nice feline cat shape without your eyes looking really, really small. And I notice she uses these goldy colours a lot. So I'm going to put that on the waterline. So I've gone two thirds of the way across with that liner. Then using a black eyeshadow, I'm just going to take this along the bottom lash line.
just like that. And then a very, very small amount of mascara on the bottom lashes and brush them through so you have hardly anything there. Because again, she doesn't want to make the lashes at the bottom very strong and dark because it's going to make the eyes appear around her. So a small amount. And then just brush them through. I'm using a clean mascara wand. And I'm brushing all my lashes this way, outwards. So that they add to that lengthening. On the cheeks, she hardly wears anything. So what I have is this great little palette. This is uh, available from Pam. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this sort of olive color here just to contour, olivey brown color. And then blend that in with my stippling brush. I'm just blending that contour in there using my contour brush and then I'm going to use a little bit of that brown just down the nose just to narrow up here really blend that in and then on the apple of the cheek I'm going to use this second one down the kind of orangey colour that in finally Angelina has these massive lips there's not much I can do to replicate that because I don't have them and all the lip liner in the world is not going to um, replicate it all it's going to do is make it look really false on me and um, that wouldn't be a true representation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pale color here just to pale my lips out a bit because she really loves nude lips And over the top of that I'm going to put a tiny tiny bit of this pout polish from Sleep Makeup in the colour Nude. And that is the finished Angelina Jolie look. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. And as I said this is a brilliant look for anyone with round eyes or anyone um, who just likes a cat eye look but in particular if you have round eyes and you want to make them narrowed then this is a great way of doing it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!